Hi, I'm really excited to announce that we have just released our first preview version to all of the backers of the Zavi campaign. So we now have approximately 200 or so people testing live code creates. Um, really exciting that we've reached this, uh, this stage in the product development. We're making really great progress. Really proud of where we've managed to get this product. Still a long way to go, but I'd love to give you a little tour to show you where we are so far. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my live code create account. Um, and this is connecting to my account on our web application service. And this will take me into the first screen, which is our my projects area. This is where I can create a brand new project. You see, I don't have any projects at the moment. I can create a brand new project. This screen in the future will give us um, access to templates or our uh, AI user interface builder, but for the moment, we're just gonna start with a blank project. My test project. And this is gonna take us into our app building environment. So here we are, we've got this whole new, this whole new um, IDE for uh, building our applications. Uh, we have our main canvas area here. Uh, this is where our, our layout that we're gonna be building is. Um, we have this panel over here on the left, which uh, can be changed depending on what um, you want to look at. So at the moment we've got our, our um, tools uh, panel open. We can go to see our project browser. Um, and then we've got our settings panel. Mo more will be appearing here over time, but this is what we have for the moment. All of these panels are customizable, so you can um, you can make them bigger. Um, you can actually make the, the icons and the um, uh, the labels uh, smaller if you want to, to create a bit more space. It's all quite flexible. Um, I'll go ahead just now and just drag out a couple of widgets. We've got quite a lot of um, new widgets with new widgets coming uh, most weeks, making really, really great progress there. Um, I'll not drag all of them on, but I'll give you a little sneak into some of them. Like for example, here's just a little, a little drop down button, I'm going to switch into run mode, you see that working. Um, here's a little new slider. Um, again, just pop into run mode and see that sort of, that's working, working away quite nicely. Um, all customizable from our property inspector, which I'll show you in a moment. I'll show you a couple more. Uh, new YouTube widget, uh, just play your, any YouTube uh, videos. There's a Vimeo one, there's just the direct Vimeo player as well. And a bunch of others. Um, I'll give you a little look at our ratings widget. Um, switch into run just to show you that working. Um, so yeah, it all works um, very, very nicely uh, for building your interface. And there's more still to come on this. Um, let me give you a little look at our property inspector. So over here, you can see, um, so for example, we've got our single line field. I could change this to some of the other variants of the field. So email, password, text area, number, lots of option, lots of customization. Um, as I say, still a way to go, but I'm very, very proud of, of kind of where this is at this at this stage. Um, what I'll do now is I'll give you a quick peek um, at the first iteration of our actions editor. Um, this is where you would come if you wanted to create um, actions on your uh, interface without uh, having to write any script yourself. Now at the moment, we don't have a lot of um, actions built in. Uh, there is more to come, more sophisticated actions to come. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a little preview as to where things are at. So this is our handler, that's our mouse up. And we'll go in here and we're just gonna pick, we'll say the, the answer one. Um, and we'll say, hello. We'll add that and then Shall we add uh, another one? I, mean, I don't think I've got any other layout set up, but we'll just, for the purpose of this, I will say uh, go to and um, just go to this card here. Go ahead and add that. So we've started to build a series of actions. Um, you can imagine in the future that there'll be more sophisticated actions, um, lots more to choose from. Uh, you can actually start to, to, to build um, quite a sophisticated app without having to, having to actually write scripts. Great for brand new users, um, also a bit of a time save for um, existing users who maybe already know uh, know the language. Um, I think this is going to be a really good feature as we continue to develop this.
So I'm going to close that. Um, I will go ahead and I'll just run that just so you can see um, the hello. And obviously it's just going back to the same card. So we're not going to see that um, visually. But if I go into the look at the script. So here's our script uh, editor in the bottom section here. Opens in this sort of partial view. You can sort of customize that to how you want it to be. I can just have it up at this full view. Oops. So I've clicked something there by mistake. If it's maybe a little bit too sensitive, um, maybe a bug. Um, <clears throat> I didn't want to show this, but I will uh, explain what it's doing. Is if you create an action and then you decide you want to go and manually edit that action, this is just the notification to uh, show the uncoupling of the action, just to say that this will no longer work with the actions editor if you want to go and um, go and play with it manually. Um, I'm going to say no to that for the moment. Um, so you can see that we've um, that we have created this code, generated this code from this actions editor. I've not had to type any of this. Um, so really quite cool. I'm going to show you another feature element here. I'm going to just toggle on our um, AI and I'm going to select this. And this has opened, uh, opened up our auto assist. Now we don't have a lot of AI in the product yet. A lot of it's been actively worked on. Um, the, we're making some really good progress on the UI builder. More to come on that soon. Um, but here is just uh, the AI within the script editor. And the one we've got working is the explain feature. So if I go ahead and get the answer to this, this is just going to tell us what this bit of script does. So you can imagine if you're a brand new user, you've used our actions editor, and you maybe want to learn a little bit about what the code is doing, giving you the opportunity to learn live code script. Um, equally, if you're an existing user and you find a, a bit of script on the on the forms, for example, and you just want to understand exactly what it does, um, this is a really cool feature. Um, just gives a nice explanation of of uh, what the script is doing, and when you're when you do this on a big bit of script, it becomes it becomes really quite impressive. It's uh, quite a cool feature. Um, more to come on that. A little look at our auto assist feature within the script editor. Now, if I close this down, is there anything that I've not shown? I think I've given a reasonable good uh, look around. Um, I'll go ahead and head back to the my projects area. Um, so this project is now saved um so if i was to go and access this from a different device a different browser um it's there it's there waiting on me to uh, to come back and edit it again really pleased with our progress um really excited that we've reached the stage where we have people testing this uh can't wait to tell you more about it as we continue to continue to progress with this product thanks for listening hope you enjoyed the enjoyed the demo